Hey guys, welcome back! So happy to see y'all again. I thought you guys would like to take a cool look at this. I wired up a light and got it to uh, basically thread through the back of a clear cap that I drilled. Anyway, I got this light to work. You guys like it? Looks cool, right? So I'm thinking that this will probably, probably sit like right here in the case so i got the reservoir and i'm thinking like that and the radiator and it would sit maybe about right there or maybe vice versa or maybe it'll go over the i don't know i haven't made up my mind yet i'm too busy sitting here staring at this thing i think it looks cool but yeah i just wanted to show you all that make sure to subscribe leave a like all that good stuff what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so we got the phantom 410 by nzxt bro let me tell you something this case was made in 2011 or that's when it was released actually it was released in december 9th right around christmas time in 2011 this case is so damn good at its job that it is still around and here we are talking about it in 2020 dude this case other than this horrible hole that they put tape over but we'll get to that um this case was like the must-have if you were gaming back in 2001 you had to have this case this case was made for water cooling. It could hold multiple hard drives. It could hold multiple different size motherboards. It could hold multiple graphics cards. It could it could hold radiators. It could it was future proof. This case really set the mold, man. Uh, usually, you know, when I'm looking for this case, I can't find it. Or when I do find it, it's an expensive case. People usually want like $150 to $200 for it or even upwards to like $300 for these cases and those are used. This one is brand new from the manufacturer. I have been keeping my eye on this case. It has been at a steady $225 price tag and it has sat there for years now. Well. All of a sudden, I got an email that this thing had a price drop of $69. And I was like, what? It's like, there's no way this thing is $69. Well, anyway, I went on it, and NZXT had a brand new case. It's a white with blue lining, all right? And they only had one left, and it was brand new. $70 and I got it so I want to open it I want to show it to you guys make sure to smash that like subscribe if you're new let's do it roll the intro because I'm excited I want to open it Um, look at all the stuff at the top USB 3.0 USB 2.0 here's that fan slider that I was talking about it has a couple of different speeds that's really cool headphone microphone you have your power reset LED indicator right here your LED indicator runs all the way around the front of the of the cone here Which is nice. Look at that nice blue accent all over it. I like that. I like the nice blue accent that's really uh, That's really cool that that blue accent that looks really cool. I think um, 
I think the fact that it's white and blue and it kind of looks like a like a stormtrooper's helmet like that's in the snow it's it's awesome I love it it looks really cool um, let's see if we can't remove the back piece here So I went ahead and got the two screws off. Let's go ahead and slide the panel off. Even the, uh, boy, that's really thin feeling. That, and it still has the plexiglass on it. But yeah, that's real, real thin feeling. Here's the inside of the case. Uh, look at all the space here, right? It's insane. You can put SSDs or five and a quarter hard drives in here. You can put just, I mean, whatever you want. DVD burner, DVD player, um, like one of those reservoirs that go there or something. That's kind of cool. Um, in the front here, it has like this little sway bar. Can y'all see that? It's like a, a sway bar that's moving. You can mount a, a fan or a radiator there and then pull these drive cages out and that will open that area up for you. Uh, just like right here in the back, how it has the grommets in the back so that way you can pass through your water cooling. That was the idea of the, the radiator and the pumps and everything at the time guys when these, when these cases came out. All of that stuff used to mount to the outside of the case. It wasn't, some of it was inside the case, but for the most part, it wasn't in the case. It was on the outside of the case. Um, so that's why a lot of the older style cases have these grommets on there. So that way you can pass your water cooling tube in and out to your reservoir and stuff. And it leaves a nice clean look. You can put plenty of graphics cards in it, like I was saying. Um, and it had a nice spot for the power supply, fan. Ugh. I really admire this case. When this case came out, it was it was doing things that other cases weren't at the time. Other manufacturers just weren't weren't putting cases like this together. I mean, this thing has grommets right here for you to pass your motherboard and your 24 pin and then all your little connectors and stuff. Uh, this comes with a 30 watt fan header splitter thing that runs off the front there, right? Well, it also comes with some extra headers on it so you can plug your fans in. And it does come with two already pre-installed fans, which y'all can see right here, two pre-installed fans. Uh, you know what, in fact, let's just get the camera and I'll walk around and we'll take a look at it that way. Oh, hey guys, real quick, I wanted to show you all this. Look, check this out. This was my original one that I was telling you guys about. This is the original one that I had. Um, it needs some work. I took all the electronics and stuff out of it and forgot how to put it back together. I think I lost them over the years, but um, I only have the back panel. I don't have the front panel to it, so it just kind of sits there with all the other computer cases. But yeah, a lot of memories out of that one. A lot of good times. It's a pretty case, man. I really admire it. Micro ATX and Mini ITX. So it holds Mini ITX, Micro ATX, ATX. That's pretty cool. It holds quite a few different cases. I love how they like put it there so that way you don't forget it. You know, look at the grommets on it. Look how small the grommets are. Now cases, you know, those grommets are huge. They're they're big for the pass-throughs and stuff, you know? But you gotta remember the, the thinking, when this case was being designed, the thinking for it was way different, you know? Uh, it's just, it's kinda like a, a piece of artwork. All right, so with the nice little easy swipe of a tug, it comes out. Notice all of your anchor ports in here for all of your cable management. Look at it. 
I love that. Even along the backside there at the top. Oh man, that's great. Nice big cutout like that. That's awesome, man. Oh, check that out. Look. You actually get access to them through the back. That's why I couldn't pull that out because you're actually supposed to pull these out through the back. Oh, that's right. Oh, you know what? I think I that's right. That sucked because I remember I remember having to like move all your wires and stuff over to be able to pull a drive out. A lot of times, man, we didn't even run the side panel because you wanted as much airflow as you could get to your case. That's why I don't understand why these newer cases now are all glass and then glass, no airflow. They gave you a little tiny hole like this, like down in the bottom for your case, your whole computer to suck nice air in it. It sucks. It's stupid. So check this out, guys. On the front of the panel, this is why this thing reminds me of a stormtrooper. That, that's just what it looks like. But if you push on the front there, this pops open. And then that way you can put what you need in here, take out, because they're on these little switches here, right? And then they just pull out like that, which is a nice feature. You got to remember, this is high-end stuff, man. This is awesome. And I love how the door swings back shut and then locks back in place. That is so cool, man. This thing is awesome. Look at all the stuff on top. Wow, I cannot wait to build in this case. This is gonna be so much fun. Make sure to leave me a like if you guys like it too. All right, so here is the completed look of the case. Man, once again, I just, I really like the, the look of it, the, the shape of it, you know? Um, this case was designed in a different generation, you know, with different ideas in mind. It just, you can really tell when you look at it how different it is, but also the same. The companies used to, see this window just pops out with a couple of easy taps. Uh, I remember companies used to sell these windows. Uh, different colors and stuff so you could switch them out and customize them same with like the grill and the trim and stuff They used to sell it different colors um, And then you could get the panels in different shapes or um, sorry You could get the panels in different colors the red one. Ooh, the red one of these it is so sharp I like it So anyway guys, there you go. There's a good look at the Phantom 410 by NZXT. I hope you guys like my review. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and just show it to you guys. Oh, what a walk down memory lane. It's crazy. But alright, I appreciate you guys watching. Oh, also I took my old one and put it next to this one. And up, they're identical. I just didn't know if maybe the shape or design. Also, the package date of this computer was, uh, crap, it slipped my mind, um, 2013, I think this was manufactured in 2013, or, yeah, 2013, it was, it said 2012-2013 manufacture date, so I guess it was manufactured between 2012 and 2013, so anyway, there you have it, I hope you guys like it, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and as always, I appreciate you guys watching. If y'all have any comments, tell me down below.